Hey guys, so I bought these master lock speed dials for the cabin and they're a little tricky to get set up and to set your own combination. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show you how, how I did it and how easy it actually is. So step number one is you need to find the combination for the lock so you can get it out of the case. And you do that by cutting along the dotted lines on the back. You'll have to push a little bit hard because there's plastic behind there. And back there you will find a uh, instruction booklet with your combination. All right, so on the instructions you'll find uh, the preset combination uh, on the top right corner. And then it'll show you the instructions on how to set your own. But we'll go over that right now. Okay, before we put in the combination, uh, the key thing to know about these locks is that there is a clear function, which is pushing down twice on the top like this. That will reset the combination. So if someone were to come around and try and it doesn't work, or if you had tried and you screwed up, uh, you can always start over by double clicking. So before you put in the preset uh, sequence, we should always clear it. Oh. There we go, and now it's open. So now we remove this plastic backing off the rear of the lock. With that off, to set our own combination, you can see a little imprinted R on the back there. We need to use a pen or a pencil and push this tab, slide it up to the R. So with the tab in the reset position, we have to clear the combination. And how do we clear? Double click. Now it's time to enter our new combination. Now it advertises that it can be any length. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a limit to that, but uh, they, they suggest using a long one, um, and I would too. But for demonstration purposes, let's just keep it simple. Up, down, left, right. After we put in our new combination and before we close the lock, we have to slide that tab out of the R position. So now that it's locked, uh, we'll test out our new combination. We always start by clearing it. One, two, and we'll try to open it. Up, down, left, right. Voila! There we have it. In with the instructions are these stickers you can place over the arrows. So instead of directions, you could uh, pretend you're playing PlayStation, perhaps, or write someone's name, or use a numbered combination. I probably won't use these because I don't think they'd stand up in the weather, and I'm using this kind of outdoors-ish. So but it's pretty nice that you have the option. One final tip about these locks is when you create a password or a combination, make sure you write it down or remember it because you cannot reset it if you forget it. So that's how you uh, get your lock out of the case <laughs> that it comes in and I struggled with that for a little bit until I looked it up. And that's how you reset it and use your new uh, master speed dial lock. Thanks for watching.